Hi, welcome to this episode of Millennial Pocket. Today we're going to be looking at how Facebook makes money. Facebook is a social network that makes it easy for anyone to connect and share with family and friends online. Today, Facebook is the world's largest social network with more than 2 billion monthly users worldwide. The platform accounted for 60.68% of all social media site visits in the United States in 2020, and its revenue amounted to roughly $86 billion, up from $70.7 billion in the previous fiscal year. But how does Facebook make its billion dollars? What are its streams of income? Let's take a look. Facebook currently makes 98.5% of its money from digital advertising, mostly ads on Facebook and Instagram. The company posted $84.2 billion in advertising revenue in 2020, a growth of 20.8% during the year. Through Facebook ads, marketers pay for ads based on the number of impressions delivered or the number of actions, such as clicks, undertaken by users. Ads are displayed on Facebook's main social networking site as well as Instagram, Messenger and other third-party affiliated websites or mobile applications. The main reason for the success of Facebook's advertising business model is that users share a large portion of their life on the platform, and because of that the amount of time people spend on the so-called newsfeed is crucial to increase the profitability metrics of the company. All the data that Facebook collects allows advertisers to find their perfect audience by narrowing down their search to a niche group of people using Facebook audience and interest targeting. Even though each click may not cost that much, it quickly adds up to billions of clicks and billions of dollars. On the marketer side, having access to such powerful advertising tools is very valuable for small to medium-sized businesses which are now able to compete with big companies without having large advertising departments. According to Facebook, there are now 10 million businesses globally that use their advertising platform. Same as with the Facebook platform, the company also makes money from ads on Instagram. The company doesn't have a lot of ads on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger yet, so those platforms don't contribute much revenue at the moment. The ads in the old newsfeed on Facebook and Instagram make the most money, but ads in the disappearing stories are also becoming much more popular and making more money each year. Interestingly, most of Facebook's revenue now comes from ads on their mobile apps. In 2012, Facebook launched its mobile ads program, which up until then didn't feature ads. The strategy ultimately proved successful and was a big change from the company's early days when most of the revenue came from the website. Another major improvement happened in March 2014, when the company introduced its three-level advertising campaign structure, offering campaigns and ad sets on top of standard ads, which was designed to make it easier for advertisers of every size to organize, optimize, and measure their ads. However, Facebook has been recently rolling out some privacy tools that allow users to prevent some of their data from being used for targeted ads. These privacy tools may become a headwind for revenue growth in the future, which could make targeted ads less effective and less popular with advertisers. The company's non-advertising related revenues amounted to $1.8 billion in 2020. Two of Facebook's hardware products are part of this category, Oculus, its virtual reality headset, and Facebook Portal, its video calling smart device. In March 2014, Facebook decided to invest in VR by buying Oculus for $2 billion, which helped to boost consumer awareness of the brand. Zuckerberg is a big believer in the future of digital connection through AR and VR, areas where Facebook has been investing big. Oculus has partnerships with major technology companies including Microsoft and Samsung, which places the Oculus products in the spotlight of the technology industry. Its current products include the Oculus Rift headset for PCs, as well as Oculus Go and Oculus Quest, standalone headsets that contain integrated mobile computing hardware and do not require a PC to operate. Of virtual reality headsets sold worldwide in the fourth quarter of 2020, the Oculus Quest 2 led the way with more than 1 million of the VR headsets being sold. 
Additionally, the company has confirmed that there are over 60 Oculus Quest games, generating more than $1 million in revenue, with six games making over $10 million in revenue. But Oculus didn't single out those six games or provide specifics yet. As I mentioned earlier, Facebook's other hardware product is its Facebook Portal, a smart display developed in 2018. The product line consists of four models that provide video chat via Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. The devices have a screen and video camera that can follow you as you walk around a room while video chatting with a friend or family member. They are also integrated with Amazon's voice-controlled intelligent personal assistant service Alexa, but Facebook didn't disclose how much money they make from the portal yet. Facebook offers a service called Workplace, which is a way for businesses to manage their internal communications. The service was launched in 2016 and it counts companies such as Spotify and Starbucks amongst its clients. It competes directly with business communication services like Slack and Microsoft Teams, which have respectively 12 million and 145 million daily active users. Workplace has a free subscription option but its advanced service costs $4 per month for each user and $8 per month for enterprises. There are over 30,000 businesses and organizations globally that use Workplace, which today has over 7 million paid subscribers. Facebook Marketplace, the Craigslist-like service where users buy and sell with each other, now has 1 billion users. Facebook doesn't charge list fees or take a cut of commissions, so for brands approved to list products, Marketplace is essentially a free, organic distribution channel. The platform is growing and has a lot of potential. This means that Facebook may take advantage of that one day. Facebook also sees a big market opportunity in digital payments, and they recently started rolling out a new service called Facebook Pay. The company is also developing a cryptocurrency called Libra, which has the potential to disrupt the global payment space in the future. And that's why payments may become a significant revenue source for Facebook. One of Facebook's biggest growth areas is e-commerce. With Facebook Shops and Instagram Checkout, the company is investing heavily in online shopping. Facebook sees a big opportunity here because people already use their services to discover new products and shop, and the number of business profiles is increasing. Another future monetization opportunity for Facebook is business messaging on WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. Many businesses are already using these messaging platforms to communicate with customers. Many websites now have Facebook Messenger chat widgets that customers can use to send messages directly to sales or customer support. And for that reason, the company is likely to find ways to monetize these features in the future. What do you think about Facebook? What would be the next move for them to become more profitable? Which areas would you improve? Please let me know in the comments section below. Leave a like if you got some value from this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Feel free to follow us on Instagram. We post every day there. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time.